Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be on shea butter. I suggest you stay till the end because I'm gonna be giving a couple of tips on which type of shea butter you should choose for your projects because not all shea butter is the same. Hi, for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are coming back, welcome back. Okay, so today's video is gonna be on shea butter and which different types of shea butters you should and shouldn't use for different projects that you are going to be working on. For example, lotions, um, if you're going to be making soaps, or if you're going to be making body butters, depending on what you plan on using it for. And if you, so especially if you plan on adding a color to your project, whatever you decide to make, um, this is mostly for like people with their small businesses, or if you just like to do your little projects at home and use these um these products that you make for yourself your family as a gift okay so one of the body shea butters that i had gotten i did not realize the difference and this is one of the mistakes and this is a mistake that i just recently made is that i purchased a certain type of body butter actually i purchased two different types of body butters from the same person and turns out that they do not exactly work the same okay so this one right here okay so this one right here is african shea butter as you could see right there it's carotene shea butter 100 percent pure uh shea butter right okay so as you could see the color on here is not exactly clear it's um okay so this is what i did was that i went to the store and i was actually going to different stores and i was trying to locate shea butter where i could find someone that could provide the shea butter without me having to order it online for if i get orders because i am about to launch my store my uh small store and everything i'm about to launch it and i was basically working on different projects but trying to get the formula correct for each project now the one that i was working on was body butters now the body butter that i was working on it's i didn't want it to be just anything where i just whip it together and okay well i you know just take it i didn't want to do that okay so i wanted to have like the perfect formula so i have been going around different companies different businesses and everything and purchasing different shea butters so right now this video is going to be just on one that i purchased and from a certain store i'm not going to give the name i'm not going to give the location or anything because i don't uh her stuff is her stuff her store you know and everything it's working for her and that's her business and i'm not going to mess with her business okay so but one of the things that I will say is that, okay, so this right here, if you see a website on here, whatever, that's not what it is. Um, okay, so what I did was that I found this one. I saw the shea butter. I was looking for shea butter because I did want to do a project with a lotion and I did want to do a project with the body butters. Okay, so what I did was that I purchased this one first. And when I saw it, basically, because I had gone to Target, I did find uh, shea butter at Target, which it was exactly like this, okay? It was in this form, as you can see. I will open it right here for you guys. It was just like this, okay? This is, I found this one at Target, and it was like $7 for mm, 10 ounces. So it's right there, 10 ounces. Okay, so this jar right here alone was about $7. Okay, so when I was searching for body butters, I was looking for someone who would have a better price and everything. So what I ended up doing, one of the big mistakes that I made was that I just wanted shea butter. That's it. I thought that shea butter was just only shea butter and that's it. You just need to have it in your project and that is just no. Okay, so different shea butters kind of work differently. Like the raw unrefined um 100 raw shea butter is different than a shea butter that has been um worked with and done something different too so now if you pay attention to the two colors of these shea butters can you see that okay so if you pay attention to this one and then you pay attention to this one you could see that this one's lighter than this one right so now when i first worked and I did my body butter, I was wondering, I was like, okay, so when is it going to turn white, right? Because when you're whipping it, you want to get that air into it. I was working on the body butter project when I just realized that it's just, it's not lightening up for anything. And at first I thought it was the oils, but no, actually it wasn't the oils. The oils are kind of yellowish, 
but it's not only the oils that were making the shea butter yellow. Actually, what was doing it too was this. It was shea butter. The shea butter that I had added, right? Because the other ingredients that I added, some of them had color, some of them didn't, which I didn't add that much. Um, this is not, um, I'll do a recipe one later, a video on, uh, shea, on body butters and lotions. Okay. But right now, what I want you guys to, what I want to tell you guys, what I, the information I'm trying to give to you guys is that if you look at this one, I'm going to open it here for you guys. I'm going to show you guys a different type of texture on both of them. Okay, so if you see this one right here, it's like really like stuck together, everything. It's, uh, it's yellow. It's like really, really stuck together. As you could see right there, I literally had to stick a knife in there and a spoon. So I was like spooning it out. I was just trying to like, I was struggling to get that out. Okay. It is soft. Don't get me wrong. It is soft, but it's all crammed in there. Now I'm going to let you guys know in a little bit exactly what the lady did to make it like that. Like I didn't understand the difference between shea butters. I just thought shea butter was just shea butter, but actually it's not. Okay, and then if you see this one, you can see the squares and everything, and it's not really um, all in one. So the thing that she did, okay, this right here is raw shea butter. So if you are working on projects like body butters, lotions, whatever that you want to color, unless this one right here and this one right here, this one right here is not really a good shea butter to work with if you are going to be coloring your projects because unless you're trying to do just like a plain Jane lotion or plain, you know, just basically plain, no, um, no colors, no nothing. You just want to do more like of a plain project. You could definitely go with this one. But if you are trying to add colors, if you are trying to make your colors pop, if you're trying to get a certain type of color, you want to work with the unrefined cocoa butter. I mean, shea butter. I am so sorry. Uh, with the unrefined shea butter because when you whip this after you whip it for a while it will fluff up and it will turn white it will turn white white so whatever color you add to it you won't have to add as much trying to get the color into this one which is what I did I was like what am I doing wrong like what is going on like it's just not catching the color what did I do wrong but it's actually not that I really didn't well actually my thing was that I was supposed to look for a raw, unrefined shea butter. Okay, so that was one of my mistakes right there. So what you want to do is that you want to find uh, the raw, the raw, unrefined shea butter if you want to work on projects, especially ones that you are going to be coloring. Now, it works exactly the same. It's perfectly fine. Now, what the lady, okay, one of the things the lady did was that she melted this. Okay, so when I went back, my mistake was that I was just like, during the time that she, <sighs> during the time that she had told me, yes, she has a bunch of shea butter, I was so excited. But the thing, I'm going to let you know why I was so excited. This is why I was so excited. Okay, now shea butter is not exactly that cheap. So basically, when I saw this price right here, $11.99, I was like, oh my god. This is what, two pounds? Yeah, you see it right there, 32 ounces. I was just like, two pounds, you know, for $11.99. I'm like, you can't beat that. I'm gonna keep coming to her. And it's like, I found out the hard way when I actually bought another jar. <laughs> I bought another one and I have more there on the side, which I am gonna use. It It's okay, it works perfectly fine, it's fine. But the only difference is that she can't call it raw or unrefined because she melted it. And she didn't just melt it like on heat over uh, like a double boiler. What she did was that she melted it in her microwave. So she makes it, but then she also melted it in the microwave, which gave it this color. And then she just poured it in and then let it get hard. Let me open this for you guys. Hold on. So when she let it get hard, yeah beautiful right but as you can see right there it's all stuck together so what you want especially with the body butters lotions if you want to get that white color that one white uh fluffy uh consistency and everything well basically the color and everything like that you will get the fluffy everything with this one too only difference is it's not going to be white it's not going to be uh as easy to work with when it comes to colors and coloring 
if you want to color and do the coloring and everything i suggest you get the raw unrefined shea butter okay because this one right here it's gonna fluff up yellow it's gonna fluff up around this color just a little bit lighter but it will fluff up around this color and unless you're planning on adding like yellows to it or like let's say green it's gonna be like when you're working with crayons or different colors you have to see and check what colors you're gonna get when you put them together because when you put them together let's say if you put blue if you try adding blue to this it's gonna literally turn green it's gonna turn green because if you do yellow and blue, it's gonna turn green. So no matter what you do, you're gonna sit there and have to add tons and tons of colorant to your project, which is probably gonna color the skin because of how much color you're gonna have to add in order to get this the color that you want it. Okay, so that was that. Yep, uh, shea butter is, I'm gonna make a video on where I now get my shea butter, but yes, I also did the mistake of buying these two. <laughs> These, I got these at Target because I found them. I wanted to work and see and check and test. I was doing all my testings, my colorings, my, I was testing the colors, the products, everything, you know, so I could get the perfect, perfect ingredients and the perfect recipe for the projects that I am working on. So when I launch my store, it's not just anything thrown together and then put on a store in here, you know, um, I was working on getting the perfect colors, the perfect uh, texture, the perfect, um, because it is about to be summer. And I don't want, when I'm mailing it, I don't want my products to show up melted. Okay, because nobody wants runny, melted body butter, unless you are going for the more oily ones, oily ones that, um, that have more oils than they do butters. So in order to get them less runny you want more butters so everyone has their different recipes not every single store or every single person that creates their body butters or lotions puts the exact same ingredients everyone puts different ones because they are coming up with their own ingredients they are putting different ingredients different oils different butters different uh different stuff in their um in their projects so you just whatever you want to work with and everything this video is just to kind of like help you guys be able to pick which shea butter to work with and not just go to the store and spend your money especially those of you who are starting your small business and you guys are on a budget and you don't want to go and waste money that you don't have that's something that we really 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 do not want to do and then also because that's one of the reasons why people tend to give up very easily and just want to quit they just give up because it's like it didn't come out correct the first time it didn't come out correct the second time i swear it's like i tried it so many times and i got so frustrated i have you know done it with this one as you can see how much is already missing because i've done it and done it and done it and done it i've done it already several times and it it basically i had to figure it out the hard way that was solid okay i had to figure it out basically like the hard way so that was one of my mistakes right now that i'm trying to start my, my small business and everything doing sales online um and uh i do have other stuff that i've also been working on already for a bit so um yeah so basically if you want to work with colorants and color your projects work on getting raw unrefined shea butter okay so i hope this video was helpful I don't forget to like this video if it was helpful forward it to somebody who you know is trying to start a small business and is making the mistakes of not getting the colors correct and everything and wondering why the colors don't stay and why they're butter after they whip it it's not white because it's a lot easier to work with white when you start off with a white canvas than when you start with a different color canvas because then you have to mix in and work with that and figure it out and it's a headache to do that okay so i hope this video helped you guys uh save one of those headaches for something else and i will see you guys later bye